Hello survivors and welcome to today's video! I'm really excited about this one, so we're playing on Svartalfheim on Mango Nation's server and the Dino Lord has built this fully modded, fully roleplay base and I just got finished decorating it. The Dino Lord has gone nuts on the build on this and the landscape is just perfect for it and I cannot wait to show you guys it. I hope you like it as much as I do. We will do a full panoramic view of the outside of the base a little later in the video but for now let's go and take a look around inside. So let's head in through the front entrance, or foyer. And so you can see he's used some of the dwarven builds, but he's also used a lot of the K Rustic stuff in here as well. He's put the K Rustic floors over the dwarven floors, and I think it looks amazing. And if we take a look around here, we've decorated it with a harp. We've got some food and drink to welcome the guests that come to the bridge. And then if we take a look around here, we've got some artifact display cases. We also have a chandelier and he put those two horses down at the side of the door which look insane but I really like them. And if we take a look at the sign we've got Bridge of Cedric so yeah if you're a regular to this channel you'll know that we pretty much worship Cedric, we've got the Church of Cedric, now we've got the Bridge of Cedric. And we've got one of the shelving units here from the RR Medieval mod and I've just put some bits on there as well just to make it look a bit busy you know. So that's the entrance hall, let's head through the doors and into the bridge section. Now this is a really long bridge. This is pretty much another entrance to be honest. This is just how you get to the base basically. So he's made these amazing open windows with the modded railings and I love them so much. And you get these rugs as well as part of the church set in the RR Medieval mod. It's so good. And again we're using a lot of the JVH landscaping mod as you can see. But I love these build pieces. He's been having so much fun. At first it was a bit overwhelming because there was so many. As you can see, they've got curtains as well. How cool are they? Then we've got the artifact cases as well, either side of the windows that he's made. And down here, we've got our automated arc control console. And then the other half of the bridge is pretty much the same as the first half. So we're gonna head through into the secret garden. We won't be showing the secret garden until a little bit later, but you can get a little sneak peek now. Then we're going to turn around and we're going to head into the main building, which is up the stairs here. We've got the dwarven doors look amazing. And when we head through, you'll see we've got a banquet hall here. So we'll have a look at the table in a second. But first, we've got some really cool round shields on the wall up there. If we come here, there's like a shelf area with a barrel and some drinks and a candle. Just for people to hang out and chill, you know, after they've had their meal. And same on this side. And if we take a spin around, we can have a look at the dining table. So the, the meals that you're seeing on the dining table, you have to actually grow the crops for each one, then you have to make the meal, and then you actually can make the prop from that meal for them. So it's quite a lot involved in it, but I've had a great time doing it. I would advise anybody to play modded if you haven't yet, because it gives Ark such a new lease of life. It has done for us anyway. Like I'm always wanting more crafting stuff and more decorating stuff. So links to all the mods that have been used will be in the description below. So in the window over here, I've just put another little seating area with some plants and stuff. And there's similar on the other side as well. A couple of benches, a plant and a book. That's right, there's books too, how cool is that? And so all of the items you're seeing on the table, so like the plates, the bowls, the knives, the forks, the cups, everything is individual, so you have to craft them individually and then put them down individually as well. And we've got one of the photos on the wall. Unfortunately, you can't flick through the options on the pictures at the moment. One of them did change, um, but I don't know how. We weren't able to do it ourselves, you know? Right, so through into the kitchen, we'll head up these stairs first and go to the alchemy room. So with this one, I've kind of wanted to go a little bit skyrim -y with all of the books and the test tubes scattered around and some flowers and mushrooms on the floor and stuff. And there's another shelving unit which I've put on the alchemy table so that I could add my own stuff in there. And this was the first bit that I decorated, was the alchemy room. And I had so much fun doing it. So if we go down the stairs, we can take a look at the kitchen. And some of these mods are just so good. Like, look at the kitchen cupboards! Look at all the detail of everything inside them and stuff. They are just amazing. 
I was buzzing when I seen this stuff. I was like, oh, this is so exciting. Like I said, it was a little bit overwhelming at first because there was so much, but God, it was fun. It's taken ages for us to build this build and we have had the most fun doing it. And then those bits you're seeing on top of this cupboard here, they're actually individually placed as well. So you have the whole work surface that you can put whatever you want on there. The oven, the cooking station, look how gorgeous it is. It's so quaint. And I've made my own kitchen sink there with a bowl and a tap because I wasn't too keen on the existing one that's in the mod at the moment. So we've got table and chairs there and I've mixed a few different mods together for this. If we spin around, you'll be able to see the other cupboards and the wine racks. How awesome are the wine racks? And then we've got the brew maker. So pretty much all of these things craft different stuff. Uh, for some reason, the fertilizer keeps pulling into here though. I'm not sure why that is. It's really weird. But that's the brew maker. Oh God, I don't want to show you this room, but I will. This is, you know, everyone's got a messy drawer. Well, this room is pretty much our messy drawer. And this is actually the most functional room in the base, to be honest, because this is our kitchen. So everything is in here, in these fridges, and we just didn't want them on display, so we tucked them away in a little tiny cupboard because we didn't like them out. Because we wanted the immersion, didn't we? So we don't like having to see this stuff, but it's really useful, so we just hide it in there. Close that door again, now we can head back out. Now if we head through into the forge room, and wait till you see the forge. Look at that. There's a few different ones, but this one fitted better in the house. We have got one outside I'll show you later, but I love this so much. And then all of the tanning stations. And we've got one of those cool signs hanging down here, which says, Tan your hide. It looks like, can you hide? I don't know why the writing came out like that, but it is tan your hide. But I love the detail on this stuff. It's so good. And then we've got the dwarven crafting bench there, which is like an anvil with a barrel of ore next to it. It's so cool. Um, in those two cupboards, we've got our generator and our cryo fridge. Once again, they were a bit too technology-ish for this base, so we've hidden them behind doors. We've got some sword stands over on the back wall. And then in here, we've got the medieval weapons bench and the RR medieval smithy. If we come up the stairs here, we'll go into the smithy. Um, we've decorated this with a lot of plants and stuff as well. And with the shields, the colour changing on the shields works. So the paintings don't at the moment, but obviously things are always changing. The shields didn't at first, but now you can actually change the design on them. It's really cool. So this is just pretty much your basic smithy room, but we've just tried to fancy it up a little bit. I know the Indie Forge and the Fabricator are a little bit industrial, but they're necessary, so they needed to be, needed to be here, you know? Right, let's head up the stairs here. We've got a stairway and there's a tree coming through under there, which looks kind of cool, I think. And this is the balcony. Just turn the fog off so you can have a look at the beautiful view. So if you're at a bit of a lull with Ark and you're just sort of waiting for the centre to come out and you're not really doing much on there, I would so advise going to Svar if you've not yet because it is so good. It's not quite finished yet, but he's updating it all the time. He's constantly adding things and making the map a lot better. And we're having an absolute blast on here. We come down the stairs and head through here. We've got the JVH gardening bench there, which is just really, really pretty. And then just here, we have our bathroom. Again, we've got one of those really cool signs on the wall saying washroom. So let's head through. So we've got a bathroom cabinet there with some shampoo bottles, body wash, you know, that sort of stuff. We've got a mirror and we've got an actual bathtub, which you can lie in. It is so cool. We've got the harp next to it as well. And yeah, the Dino Lord does enjoy a nice bath in here now and again. I'll just see if I can find an example for you now. I know I've got a video in that bath somewhere. He <laughs> told you. So on with the rest of the bathroom, we've got the bathroom sink, which I really like the look of. And then we've got one of those like old wash tubs where you do your laundry in. And I thought that looked quite cool in here too. And then of course the all important toilet with a little candle hanging off the back of it, hopefully scented. Right, let's head out into the hallway. I don't know why my monkey is there. I guess that's just where he likes to hang out. So we've got a bench with a little plant and a lantern. They've got hanging wall lanterns as well, which are awesome. They look so cool. 
And then we've got this long hallway where I've put some picture frames and shields on the walls with just some decorations on the floor. So we've got some barrels with some of the JVH plants on them. And that's the picture I was telling you about. That's the picture that actually changed. It was a picture of the lady. And I'd been trying to change it for ages, but it wouldn't. And then I just logged in one day and it was like that. And I was like, oh, that's well cool. And then we've got the large picture there. They're really nice as well. I do love these. I think they're brilliant. We need more wall deco. We've got a little writing bench here with a book and another lantern on it and a standing candle next to it. And then if we move along, we've got the picture of the lady and a writing desk, which I think looks proper cool. And if we come around here, we've got a little sewing room. How awesome are these? And there's a spindle and everything. I love it. I love it so much. I think it's Nanea, her name is, who makes the RR medieval stuff. Oh, she's so good. And there's a filing cabinet and then we've got a crest above the doorway and if we come in through the doorway here's our bedroom i spent a lot of time on the bedroom i really enjoyed doing this so we've got those vines and i put them on loads of places we've got a mirror and a little dresser with some bits on top of it another vine up there on the wall because why not and these shelves i love these shelves so there's three different variations of shelves there's the ones that are just like plain for you to put whatever you want on it there's these ones and there's also like an artifact one which has got like little versions of the artifacts on it it's proper cool we've got a little snack table in the bedroom just in case you get a bit hungry in the night and that's the bedroom i love the curtains as well so they do them in so many different sizes you've got your one by one your two by one your two by two they're so cool oh god look i forgot the dino lord was sleeping here I say Dino Lord, we've actually got new characters on this because we couldn't transfer, obviously, so we're called Buggy and Nuggy. And there's our chandelier. I've chosen different chandeliers for different rooms where I thought that they matched. And I'm making use of these rugs as well, putting them everywhere. You can't paint the rugs as of yet, but they just look proper cool. Right, that is the inside of the building. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's time now to head on out down to the second part of the base. So we're going to come through the secret garden. We're still not going to take a proper look at that just yet. We're going to come to this building here. And in here is our war room. Now the deco available just lended itself so well to this that I had to make a war room. And again, he's used some of the dwarven builds along with the K rustic stuff and mixed them together. And I just think the effect is incredible. We'll take a spin around. We've got the bookcases, more shields, another chandelier. Again, we've got the rugs. We've got some plants coming through from the outside. And then these are astronomy tables, but I thought they looked quite cool as like war planning tables. And that there is a map of Westeros from Game of Thrones. It's so cool. And I think this is one of my favorite rooms in the base. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and here we've got kind of like a Harry Potter cupboard. Sometimes I store my PC character in there when I come over to play. I just log out in there. Right, let's head upstairs. We've got just a plant and some curtains out here. I've used buckets and barrels as vases as well. And if we come in through here, we've got something pretty awesome in here. I love this so much. So we'll spin around and you'll see the Game of Thrones throne. So chuffed they put that in. That is amazing. So this is our throne room. And I've put some greenery in here. I wasn't sure whether to go a bit more hardcore, but I just like the way the plants look so much. So I've made it more Hufflepuff than anything, but it is what it is. I like the way it looks. And then we've got another harp through here and there's shelves. So I've put things on shelves and you can put the shelving unit on a wall shelf so you can have it up high. And I like that. And the candles, you don't actually have to put any spark or anything in them. They just like light on their own. It's really cool. The harp's going off on one again, sorry about that. But it's quite a nice song, it just plays the, um, the sound of silence. You know, hello darkness, my old friend. It plays that over and over again, which at first we thought was amazing. We crafted so many music notes and we put them all in it because we thought we want it on all the time. So if people come past, they can hear it and it'd be a nice, pleasant experience. But it got on our nerves so much that we just turned them off in the end and we just put them on now and again. We were like singing it in our sleep and stuff, you know? So if we come up the stairs here, we've got just like a little chill out area with a plant and a book on a bench. 
And this here is our training room. So we've got some braziers in here, some drinks for when you get thirsty while you're training, sword racks, barrels for your arrows, and some targets. I put some bushes around the targets as well because you never know who's gonna be in the bushes that you're gonna have to aim for, so it's good practice, isn't it? Now the braziers take sparks to light up, so what I did was put a candle down first and put the braziers on top. That way I don't have to waste any wood or spark or thatch or anything, you know? And if we head up here, we've got another rooftop area. Just a bench and a little candle and a nice view. And look at those cool swords! Those three swords, they are like part of the natural structure on the map. I love them, I love them so much. There's so much to look at on this map. Loads of crazy and interesting stuff. And then we've got a couple more benches here. Some apples and some drinks. And a little roofside reading area. I just thought I'd give you a bit of a view here of these swords because they look proper cool. You'll see more of these when we do the panoramic, but I just thought while we were up here, you know? So now we're gonna take a look at the second entrance to the base. So this is down on the beach, looking up at the bridge. And if we turn around to the left, you'll see a staircase going up the mountain. We've put a lot of trees and stuff around the mountain base. And those again are from the JVH landscaping mod. If we come up here, there's just like a little section between this staircase and the next staircase. So I've put like a little rest area here with, again, some barrels, some benches, and some drinks, some refreshments, you know? And then over here, I've been dying to use this crypt thing. So I've wanted to use it for ages. So I put it in the side of the mountain and I've made it look like a, like a burial chamber. You know when people like put offerings and stuff down so there's like apples and flowers on the floor and stuff? And I've put catacombs written on the front of it because you can change the text on them. They're actually really long, but it, it meshed into the mountainside, which was awesome. Then if we come up here, We've got some trellises, and then we've got an artifact stand, and a table with some bunting. How cool is the bunting? It's so cute! And some refreshments. And then we'll go in through the door, and we can finally take a look at the garden. So we've really used the JVH landscaping mod like crazy on here. I'd go as far as to say it's our favourite mod that we've seen so far, that we've used. It's just so good. So around here we've got a little wine festival. So I've put up a little market stall. The market stall comes with a canopy and a table and I've put some bits and bobs on there. And then I've put up a load of wine racks at the back of the stall. Got a beer keg there and a sign in book, you know, to say what you think of the wine, which wine's your favorite, stuff like that. And then if we come around here, we've got the food festival. And I've made a load of recipes for this. And the crates that you see underneath are actually storage crates. So the ones I've used are the berry storage, the narcotic storage, and the stimulant storage. And if we take a look over here, we've got under the shelf, which I've put some more food on. We've just sectioned off this tree because we thought it looked quite nice, so that's just its own special tree. And then if we spin around here, you can have a look at all the greenery. These mushrooms, how cool are the mushrooms? And I'm sure they give off a glow as well, I know the blue ones do. And this is like a farm area, so like we've got crops and stuff, we've got pumpkins growing, a bit weird shaped pumpkins, but they're there. And hay carts, love the hay carts, and you can drape the vines from them and stuff as well, which is amazing. So we've got a few dinos out, just the breeders really, because there's no need for us to have the rest out. So we just got a few dinos, not many. And if we come around to where the door was that we came out of the bridge, under there is the compost bin and some more crops growing. And that's the entrance to upstairs up there. And then here we've got the incubation area. So the Dino Lord actually hatches his eggs in the trees because it looks too nice and I don't want to change it. And that was a market stall that was there as well. And here is the garden path. So you can use rocks in the landscaping as well as trees and flowers and stuff. So I've put, made like a pathway with them. Oh, and then off to the side here, I've got a little area with a harp and a unicorn. There's a few unicorn dotted around. A uh, little seating area here next to the harp where you can just sit, chill out, listen to some music. I've turned the harp off for this though because it gets a bit much, you know? <laughs> we'll head back to the path now. And we'll take a look at the wishing well. So the bucket and the candle I've just put on the wishing well and put some plants around it. And that's an S unicorn. How cool does that look? They're beautiful. And this is the beehive. It's so different to the original beehives. I love it. 
and the egg collector you've seen on the floor there then. And this water wheel, and a water wheel. Look how beautiful. And it just keeps going around on its own. It's amazing. It's got its own little water source, so you don't have to be near a water source to use it. It's got its own water source that comes underneath it. It's really cool. And so now if we head back to the path past the wishing well, we've got another hay cart here, which you can see a little bit better. So I've put some candles on the floor in front of it. I've done this with a few things just to illuminate them. And like I said, they don't take any fuel, so they're just lit up all the time. And that's the war room through there. And if we come over to this side of the garden, another S unicorn, and loads more mushrooms. We've got the wood storage there, and a big giant fireplace. They look cool. I like them a lot. And then through here, we've got we've got like a camp, I guess, like a practice, you know? Because we've got the training room in the building just next to this. I thought it'd be like a training so that they can like camp out here and cook their food and learn how to do all of that, ready for when they actually go out to battle. So these cooking stations, you do actually make the recipes and stuff in as well. It's really awesome. And at the back there, we have got the juice maker, the juice press. It does all kinds of drinks in there, and it's kind of similar to the one on Primitive Plus. And then we've got the stables. Now the stables are actually a building of their own. You can just put the stables up, but we've just decorated them and put plants around them and stuff. I mean, I've put a light in each section just to show off the horse that's in there, you know? These are all different equus. We've got the food trough and the water trough has got a tap. The water trough's got a tap, it's just so beautiful. And so here we've got the outdoor forge. So you can see either side of it, we've got shield racks with the shields at the front. So you can make these shields, you can put them in there or you can use them. Same with the swords on the sword racks. We've got another anvil out there, and then this is the other forge I was telling you about. It's a little bit big to go in the house, but it looked so cool that I had to find somewhere for it, so it kind of became its own room. Another S unicorn. This surprised me because the Dino Lord's just been like putting them here and there. So every now and again I'll turn up and there'll be a unicorn. And here we've got a clothesline for your laundry to hang your laundry up. I put another one of those old wash basins out here as well. So you do your laundry out in the sunshine and then you hang it up in the fresh air. I just thought it was really cool. So that is the inside of the base. I really hope you liked it. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and I think it's about time we got to those all-important outside shots. So let's roll those now!